G'day, it's Tony Burke. Uh, today as the Heritage Minister, and today's the day where we've just listed on the National Heritage List the Great Ocean Road, uh, which of course includes 12 apostles and where we are today at magnificent Bells Beach. Uh, so I'm here with Amy Stewart and with Carl Bell Warren. Bell Warren, yeah. Yep, Bell Warren, got that right, yep. Um, who, who both, you're both living locally and both, both aspiring at different points to, to compete. Yeah, we're both chasing the dream. Yeah. So, in a, how long until we actually have the, the title here again? It's a couple of weeks or? The Rip Curl Pro starts next Monday. Right. Uh, and the trials are on the 17th and 18th, so they're the, for the Victorians. They, yep. that's, where, that's where we get our chance to get into the main event. Okay, so as locals, you, you, try, you compete at that point, but that puts you straight into the league with the professionals if you're, if yeah. you're over the line, is that right? Yeah, well, you, do you have pre-trials this year? You've got pre-trials, which is like a mini event, and then they normally, how do you go for boys, they go in against international? No, this year, it's, it we're lucky, we've got a Victorian-only trials. Mm -hmm. So there's a guaranteed Victorian male in the event, and this year, in the women's, uh, the trialist has gone to a rip curl rider, but next year, I'm, I'm pretty sure we've got guaranteed Victorian next year. So Victorian only trials next year. So one Victorian girl will be in the main event next year. Okay, terrific. And I mean, what we've done today effectively recognises this uh, as being an important Australian event as well and part of Australia's surfing heritage. Uh, how important is it to you locally? Like the, when the classics on each time, when the... Well, when the well you, you, you drive through the main street and you realise surfing is this town. Yeah. We've got the Wimbledon of, of, of surfing in our town. so. We've got the whole world comes down here. The whole world's eyes, it's like a pilgrimage to get to this event. Everyone wants to be at this event and to have it in our own backyard, to have it in Australia, is just incredible for the sport. Now, what are the breaks behind us? You can describe this. I'll give this one to Amy. Uh, well, you've got Rincon, which is sort of out on the point. Right. And then as the surf gets bigger, you've got the bowl, which breaks in the middle. That's all part of Bells Beach. Uh, and then when you look over there, you've got Winky Pop, which is a backup venue for the swells lacking at Bells. And favourite swell for each of you? You can't go past like prime bowl, like six to eight foot, nice offshore, nice and cold in winter when there's not many people around. <laughs> I'd probably have to say Winky. Yeah. My favourite, favourite spot out of this little area. Okay. Bells is a great way, but Winky's just that little bit quicker. Okay. So. And we've got Willis. We're not allowed to ring the bell, but um, <laughs> so this is what you're hoping one day you've got two extra names on here. I think definitely in the near future. Uh. It's, you don't want to talk it up and you don't want to even hold the bell, but <laughs> it's definitely a life goal for a lot of people. And you look at Sylvana Lee, when one of the Brazilian girls won, she got a bell tattooed like half the size of her like, body. She's got a massive <laughs> bell. That's how much it means to people. Okay. So. Well, as I say, what, what you're doing here and what we recognise today is uh, it's such a part of the Australian story here. Yeah. Uh, and all, all the best for yourselves in the future with it. Okay. Thank all you very much. Thanks, Ace. Thanks,